At number 10, we have Jennifer Lopez. JLo looks pretty much the same age as she did when she was 20 years old, and it's clear that this woman does not age. Over the years, people have speculated that the reason the star stays so young is because she has gotten Botox, fillers, and cosmetic surgery. Every time this is brought to light to Jennifer, she's always said that her face is 100% her face, and that she's never had Botox or any other injectables or surgery done. She will even go to say that her secret is that she uses her skin line, JLo Beauty, and if you want nice skin, you should definitely give it a try. The star has also noted that another JLo Beauty secret is that you should try spending your time being more positive, kind, and uplifting to others instead of trying to bring them down. You know that saying that being unproblematic ages you well? Well, JLo definitely proves that saying. At number nine, we have Bella Hadid. So fans have speculated for the longest time that Bella Hadid has had a nose job, lip fillers, and Botox done over the years. Up until recently, Bella has denied the claims by saying people think she's gotten all this surgery and that you can do a scan on her face and it would prove that she hasn't had any work done. The model has also noted that she was scared of putting fillers into her face and that she would never want to mess up her face. Recently, however, Bella has come clean about getting a nose job and wishes she never had the procedure done when she was 14 and that she should have just let herself grow into her nose. As for the other procedures people claim Bella has had, she still denies them even to this day. Hey Peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And number eight, we have Kim Kardashian. So reality TV star Kim Kardashian has been pestered by the media and fans for years for getting plastic surgery or Photoshop when she flaunts her flat tummy and curvy appearance. Kim has responded by saying that she has had Botox done, however, her lips, cheeks, nose, and lashes have pretty much always been natural. However, a US-based plastic surgeon, Dr. Daniel Barrett, has come out to say that he doesn't believe that the socialite has never had any procedures done, and he also believes that the star has spent up to $39,000 on procedures such as liposuction and fat transfer. Back in 2011, the star tried to deny the claims, even more in an episode during Keeping Up with the Kardashians, when she had x-rays done to prove and deny the accusation of her having a BBL. However, if you compare photos of Kim from now to 15 years ago, it's clear that the star has had some work done and she just needs to be honest about it. There's nothing wrong with having work done, however, lying and creating unrealistic goals to your younger fans just isn't it. At number seven, we have Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande has had her fair share of rumors that she's gone under the knife to enhance her appearance. People have claimed that the star has had breast lifts or enhancements done, as well as an eyebrow lift, nose job, lip fillers, a butt lift, and cheek and jaw altercations. Now, Ariana has denied the allegations and has gone to say that people have been comparing photos of her since she was 14 years old all the way to now that she's 29 years old. I mean, we all change our looks as we grow older, so it's hard to say if she's actually ever gotten plastic surgery or not. So what do you think? Are Ariana's claims false or did she have procedures done? And let me know in the comments below. At number six, we have Kendall Jenner. It clearly runs in the family as Kendall Jenner has been been the subject of plastic surgery rumors over the years, much like her other sisters. Fans have claimed that the star has had a nose job, lip fillers, breast enhancements. However, compared to her sisters, it is clear that the procedures that she had had them done definitely were minor and look more natural. Kendall has said that as a model, why would she ever get procedures done to her face? And while it may look like everybody is out to see the star lose, her younger sister Kylie did come out to save her one time by saying that she did overline Kendall's lips one day, and it was funny to see everyone accuse the star of getting lip fillers done. As for the rest of Kendall's body, she did admit that her sisters are clearly much curvier than her, and growing up she always compared herself to them a lot. Recently, fans have also accused Kendall of going under the knife for a bigger butt, but we're just gonna have to let Kendall address these speculations before we assume any more. At number five, we have John Travolta. Now, John Travolta has denied having plastic surgery done, and people have noticed that his changing appearance from the 70s heartthrob looks in the movie Grease all the way to now. With it looking like the star has had some Botox, eyebrow alterations, and hairline work done, the overall changes throughout his face can clearly declare that there were many actions taken to change the overall look from natural to artificial. John has definitely fought hard to lose his age and he's definitely tried to keep up with the glamour he once had before. Now, John has been pretty quiet when it comes to the surgery and I don't think we'll see him responding to the speculation anytime soon. However, it is his face and hair and many of us didn't expect him to do a surgery like this ever. At number four, we have Mandy Moore. Mandy Moore was accused of having a nose job done and it made fans speculate that the rumors were true. 
And then she decided to laugh it off. When the rumors first started to swirl around the media, Mandy was quick to shut them down. And she even came out to say people think that everyone in Hollywood has had a nose job or other work done. But it's not always true. People are going to believe what they want, that's fine. And while it may be true that a lot of celebrities are accused of having work, the rumors are true 9 times out of 10. And Mandy may be part or may not be part of the 1%, but who knows? So with Mandy maybe having work done or maybe not, she has noted that she does not judge those who turn to plastic surgery or cosmetic surgery in a bid to improve their appearance. However, she's never had the work done and chooses to love her imperfections. And number three, we have Blake Lively. I think we can all admit that Blake Lively is stunning. However, did you know that people have accused the star of getting a couple of alterations done? Blake has been accused of having a nose job and eyelid surgery. If you take a look at some photos of before and after, you can see that her nose was quite larger and her eyelids were more down and hooded. Now the Gossip Girl actor has refused to confirm or deny getting the procedures done, so it only added to more heat to the rumors. It's clear that people love to speculate about celebrities' plastic surgeries, but when one stays quiet, it sure does send the internet into a frenzy. So Blake, did you have the procedures done or not? We just want to know. And at number two, we have Zac Efron. When Zac Efron appeared on a clip in promotion for Bill Nye's Earth Day musical, people were quick to notice that he had a whole new face. With his jawline looking fuller, people speculated that the star had work done to his jaw, cheeks, as well as fillers and facial implants. Now, Zach would later come out to say that he never had any plastic surgery done, and back in 2013, he actually broke his jaw when he slipped and hit a corner of his face off a granite fountain in his house. The fall would force him to have his jaw wired, and it would cause his face to change significantly. Zach's change would remind us that sometimes changes reflect on a person's health, mentally or physically, and we shouldn't be so quick to judge. And at number one today, we have Katy Perry. So it's not uncommon for celebrities to be hounded by plastic surgery rumors, and Katy Perry happens to be a celebrity who is constantly denying that she's ever had work done. Now the star has admitted to getting non-invasive treatments such as laser and lip injections to improve the dark circles under her eyes. However, people have speculated that the star has had a nose job, which she's denied. The star has also expressed that people shouldn't feel bad about getting any procedures done, and that as a society, we need to get away from the negative stigma about physical alterations. And the star has also said if someone wants a nose job to make them feel better, go ahead. Do what makes you feel better about yourself. At number 10, we have American actress Renee Zellweger. The rumors of her alleged plastic surgery operations started from her attendance at Elle's Women in Hollywood party in 2014, where the entire internet decided she looked completely different from her last public appearance. And trust me when I say they were not quiet about this. Aside from her not seeming like her usual self visually, Renee spoke with people about the issues following the social media rampant. She told the media outlet at the time, quote, I'm glad folks think I look different. I'm living a different, happy, more fulfilling life, and I'm thrilled that perhaps it shows. In line with her previous statement, she also touched on the fact that she felt like the conversations stimulated around her appearance in general were targeted at her by people who were snooping for an unrealistic truth, and how they wouldn't stop hassling her until she finally addressed it. Yet people were still far from convinced anyway, so I guess there went her hopes for less harassment. At number 9 we have California girl singer, songwriter, actress and TV personality Katy Perry. This pop princess has certainly made her mark in Hollywood over the years, but one thing she says she has not done is undergone plastic surgery. Perry dished to Refinery29 in a January 2018 interview about which cosmetic procedures she apparently made the decision to greenlight versus the ones she had not. In typical girl boss Katy fashion, she also proceeded to flock to the defense of people who obtain plastic surgeries, as she understands that doing so is both a decision and write completely for themselves. The Dark Horse artist detailed, quote, I haven't had any. I've done lasers and gotten injections under my eyes for the hollowing, which I'd recommend for everyone who wants a solution for their dark circles. But all my assets are real. People tend to think they are fake, but it doesn't really matter. We're getting away from the negative stigma about physical alterations. Of course, always be your authentic self, but if someone wants a nose job that makes them feel better, and they love their profile more because of it, go ahead, do whatever makes you feel better about yourself. 
At number eight, we have Emily Ratajkowski. Emily had accusations of getting lip injections before, and she took to her Instagram stories to address the topic in January 2021. In this, she fired back with, for anyone saying you need to stop with the lip injections, I've never had lip injections. No judging folks who do, but you can't get injections when you're pregnant. She even pulled out the statistics to back up her facts, following up with, a woman's blood volume increases 50%, which is why ladies can get a little puffy in the face and lips during pregnancy. In response, fans had said things like how Emily had been pregnant forever, which was a rude comment she very quickly shut down. She even later shared a picture of herself from the 6th grade to prove her natural lips are nearly identical, keeping in mind that as we develop, our facial structures can change slightly, so they wouldn't be 100% the same. Still, quite the impressive way to prove your point, Em. At number 7, we have American actress and model Megan Fox. Now, Megan had to respond to her own set of plastic surgery rumors in the windmill back in 2011, where she claimed clap back with a quirky Facebook album under the title, Things You Can't Do With Your Face When You Have Botox. And if this wasn't nearly comical enough in proving her haters wrong, Megan proceeded to create various facial expressions and at one point pointed to her wrinkles in the collection of photos. And well, when you're as stunning as Megan is, I can see why people would flock to the she's had plastic surgery for sure spiel. But regardless, please remember that not every beautiful celebrity has gone under the knife to achieve their attractive auras. Some beauty in Hollywood really is natural, and neither way is a wrong one of living. I know it's so easy to gossip about others' lives and what they choose to do with it, but we should really start refraining from commenting on people's appearances in general, even if we feel like some celebs are actually lying about it. Anyways, let's move on. At number 6, we have the ever so iconic singer, actress, and dancer Jennifer Lopez, known mostly under her stage name of JLo with how much popularity she's accumulated in her youthful looking years. It's no surprise that she's yet another celebrity who received plastic surgery accusations. In January of last year, JLo uploaded a video of her testing out her new face mask under her JLo beauty line. A user on the platform posted a comment which reads, you definitely have Botox, and tons of it. And it's all good, just saying. This seemed to be Jennifer's snapping point because she rapidly responded with LOL, that's just my face. For the 500 millionth time, I've never done any Botox or injectables or surgery, just saying. Get you some JLo beauty and feel beautiful in your own skin. Jennifer then added onto this comment with the statement, here's another JLo beauty secret. Try spending time being more positive, kind, and uplifting of others. Don't spend your time trying to bring others down. That will keep you youthful and beautiful too. Sending you love. What a classy way to stick it to them. At number 5 we have American model Kendall Jenner. Now the Kardashians have all been under loads of heat both in the past and presently about their supposed cosmetic procedures and lacks of truth in them. So of course Kendall was not safe from social media's firings. In a 2017 upload on her website and app, Kendall debunked cosmetic surgery theories from fans following a Facebook live event she and her sister Kylie collaborated on. Kendall explained how her younger sister's makeup skills were the reason why her appearance seemed altered. Fans were not convinced, but Kendall still wrote the following. Quote, All of a sudden, photos of us came out with headlines like, OMG, Kendall got her lips done and got full facial reconstruction. Look at her cheekbones. Look at her nose. I was like, this is crazy. I didn't even address it at the time. Because if I address it, people are going to be like, oh, so she's defending herself. She must be guilty. As a model, why would I have my face reconstructed? It doesn't make any sense. Kylie had previously cracked a joke by accepting responsibility for the spark of rumors of Kendall's face when she did her older sister's makeup. She informed Snapchat that Kendall let me overline her lip today with lip liner and everyone thinks she got lip injections. I'm sorry Kendall. At number 4 we have another American model, this time it's Bella Hadid. Models seem to be a trend for centering around accusations of them lying about plastic surgery, but I believe it's because a supermodel's entire career is based on how she looks, and unfortunately that means speculations and criticism will always come at large against the praises. As an accomplished model and gigs, Bella also takes one of the top spots of being a style and beauty icon, so naturally she's been under fire for not being entirely natural. But Bella has denied these claims every time. She spoke with InStyle for an interview in 2018 where she stated, People think I got all this surgery or did this and that, and you know what? We can do a scan of my face, darling. I'm scared of putting fillers in my lip. I wouldn't want to mess up my face. 
At number three, we have Hailey Bieber. Amongst her fairly recent title of being Justin Bieber's wife, she is very much her own person because of the mega successful supermodel career she maintains. Hailey has also faced previous backlash about possibly lying about getting procedures done, and many will say her before and after pictures speak for themselves. Her subjection to harsh criticism led to her slamming a plastic surgeon account on Instagram when a side by side photo of her as a teenager was being compared to her visuals now. Quote, Stop using pics that are edited by makeup artists. This photo on the right is not what I look like. I've never touched my face, so if you're gonna sit around and compare me at 13 and then me at 23, at least use a natural photo that wasn't edited so crazy. I think I'll leave this one up to you guys to debunk though. At number two, we have another Kardashian. This time she is the core of their bunch and single handedly the reason why they all have their fame today. Kim Kardashian has always been a touchy subject when it comes to plastic surgery theories for as long as I can remember. But one instance that really reeled everybody in was her body accusations after she gave birth to her eldest daughter, Northwest, back in 2013. Naturally, the reality star was absolutely livid about the fact that her post baby efforts in the fitness department were suddenly being overshadowed by accusations of her having gone under the knife to achieve her bounce back body. She released a tweet which stated, I'm very frustrated today seeing reports that I got surgery to lose my baby weight. This is false. I worked so hard to train myself to eat right and healthy. I worked out so hard and this was such a challenge for me, but I did it. I'm so proud of my accomplishment and no one will take this away from me with fake reports. Say what you want about me, but I work hard and I'm the most disciplined person you will ever meet. As if she hadn't proven her point enough though, Kim spoke out once more a couple of months following a fan questioning on social media why it was so hard for everybody to believe she didn't work hard to achieve her body. They also complimented the reality star by saying how great she looked, to which Kim had responded with preach lol thank you. It sucks when people make up surgery or photoshop lies when I'm so disciplined and work so hard. Just trying to motivate others and show anyone struggling with weight they can totally achieve what they want if they're dedicated. I'll leave it at that. At number one, we have our affluent pop princess Ariana Grande. This wouldn't be the first time the gorgeous starlet would receive rumors of lying about procedures people believe she's undergone, but it would be the last time she used up her energy to address it. Ariana once pointed out in a 2014 video, quote, on the cover of some magazine, they said, oh, Ariana Grande, boob job, brow lift, cheap shaving, lips done. I was like, you're comparing a picture of me from when I'm 14 years old to when I'm 21, and I'm wearing a push-up bra. Ariana also readdressed the rumors while reminiscing at throwback family photos with her older brother Frankie. While doing so, she lightheartedly joked, that's why I'm on the cover and they're saying I got plastic surgery. Goddamn puberty went nice. It came late, but she finally came through for me. Number 10, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian is one of many people from the Kardashian crew that I could have chosen for this list, but unlike some of her sisters, Khloe has opened up to fans about her cosmetic surgery journey, revealing her only regret about having a nose job. For years, keeping up with Kardashian's fans, had questioned whether Chloe had any work done on her nose or any other part of her body really. During the show's reunion special last year, she confirmed that she had the surgery. She had apparently been hesitant to share the information with fans as she claimed that the world is just a bit too easy to set off and that people would more than likely bombard her with backlash. Which is exactly what happened. After revealing the truth, she was blasted with questions left and right. Why? What? When? Where? Huh? According to Chloe, the main reason she wanted to try something different was because she was tired of being compared to her siblings all the time. The Kardashian clan is large and filled with basically one of every kind of crazy, but Chloe has maintained that she regrets trying to alter herself just to be a little bit more different than her sisters. Number nine. Cardi B. Cardi B has never been coy about the plastic surgery procedures that she's had done. During an Instagram live video in December 2022, she talked about a procedure that she had done to her bum bum years ago and gave her followers a word of advice while doing so. Following the birth of her son, Wave, that's a great name, in September in 2021, people said that they thought she had work done, when in reality, she had gotten surgery in August to have 95% of her bipolymer bum bum injection removed. She went on to tell people that they should do research and listen to their doctors, not just when it comes to bum bum injections, but also Brazilian bum lifts. Seriously, why can't I say but? And all the other plastic and cosmetic surgeries. In 2019, the rapper got candid about having to cancel and postpone shows because she needed time off to recover from a liposuction. On Twitter, she talked about having to miss work for two weeks because of that. And in that same year, Cardi also told Entertainment Tonight that she had a chest lift after giving birth to her daughter, Culture, and was unhappy happy with needing to take the time off. So Cardi's biggest problem is not with the procedures themselves, but the recovery time it seems to take. Well, fear no more with 
Insta lift. Now I'm just kidding, that's not real, but oh man, I've got a good pitch for Shark Tank. Number eight, Chrissy Teigen. Chrissy Teigen has no issue when it comes to being open about what plastic surgery procedure she has done. The 35 year old model recently took to her Instagram story to show off the results of the cosmetic surgery procedure that she revealed she underwent, buccal fat removal. The goal of buccal fat removal is to thin the cheeks and specifically in the area of the cheek hollows, and I'm not talking about face cheeks. While she claims that the removal was a success and that she could see the results, the aftermath of the situation left her on the other side of the argument. She was candid about this procedure. Many were still questioning how she got her face cheeks to look so perfect though. Speculation started running wild of people claiming to know for a fact that she had fillers. In fact, an entire YouTube channel was dedicated to proving that this woman was made of silicone. She addressed the rumors online and claimed that she did in fact receive the aforementioned bum bum solution, but she denied that the claims that she received any kind of cheek fillers. Instead, she made it known that she was not an advocate for body morphing, claiming that the only time that this should ever be done is for medical purposes. Number 7. Jamie Lee Curtis Jamie has been a staple in the world of Hollywood ever since starring in the iconic 1978 horror flick Halloween. She slowly made herself a force to be reckoned with, making her way through several iconic shows and films before landing an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress in last year's Everything Everywhere All at Once. Jamie has been very open about her life when asked in interviews. She is an open book ready to be read by any and all that are interested. When the topic of plastic surgery comes up, Jamie is very very loud with her opinion, claiming people should not F with their faces. In 1985, Jamie underwent a handful of procedures to increase her beauty. She got Botox and liposuction, which she admitted made her feel terrible. She also recounted trying to change her hairstyle all the time, but the reinvention of Jamie Lee just never took place. Now in her 60s, Jamie is still stunning and it's got nothing to do with surgery. Just a long life of running away from mass maniacs. Number 6. Kim Kardashian the reality star can be tight-lipped about the cosmetic procedures that she has undergone and has repeatedly denied getting plastic surgery, but on a forthcoming episode of The Kardashians, she seems to make a surprising confession. In a peek at season 3 shared by her sister Chloe on Snapchat, Kim is seen taking voice lessons. While talking to her vocal coach, the Skims founder admitted that she couldn't use her neck muscles to sing because half of hers were probably Botoxed. Kim admitted to having a little bit of Botox in a 2022 Allure interview, but claims that she's had no filler, adding that she will never fill her cheeks and she's never filled her lips and all this jazz. While this may be true, back in 2010, Kardashian suffered facial bruises after getting Botox before she turned 30, an experience that was documented on Keeping Up With The Kardashians. Kim claims that the surgeon warned her of all the possible side effects, you know, like they're supposed to do, but because it was the first time receiving the procedure, she flipped out in front of the cameras. Since then, Kim has steered clear of any more Botox related procedures, claiming that she felt a constant burning sensation for days afterwards, being some of the most painful moments of her life. Number 5. Courtney Cox the Friends star was speaking with the UK Sunday Times style magazine ahead of the launch of her new comedy horror TV show, Shining Veil, vale, in which she plays a depressed novelist who moves from New York City to rural Connecticut with her family. Cox herself is facing up to the fact that she is not far off from 60. She admitted that she initially tried to fight aging with all kinds of cosmetic trends, but eventually realized that she had gone crazy and is now trying to age gracefully. Despite her global superstar status, Cox said her confidence was dented a few years ago after shooting a pilot for a series that was never produced. Thankfully, the treatment she received could be removed. Her face filler slowly dissolved, and it would appear that she has decided to steer clear of any more cosmetic situations, proven by her role in the new Scream series where she really does, does not look all that different from her friends' days. Number 4. Sharon Osbourne The talk host, who is 70, admitted that she came to the decision to quit with the surgeries after an October 2021 facelift left her with one eye lower than the other one. TV personality and wife to the Prince of Darkness, Sharon previously spoke about regretting the horrendous facelift with the Sunday Times. She said she had a full facelift that October that left her looking like a mummy in an enormous amount of pain. Not only did the procedure leave her with one droopy eye, but she added that the five and a half hour operation was not worth the time or the price tag. In fact, she kept calling herself a cyclops because they did such a bad job. At least she was able to laugh about the situation. Since her last botch job, Sharon has decided to steer clear of the whole surgical route for now and instead is going with the au naturel look. Number 3. Tara Reid 
Sarah was initially a rising star in the world of Hollywood, being featured in several franchises over the years. But as time went on, her career slowed down and she was offered less and less roles. This was thanks to the reality series called Paradise, which showcased her penchant for the party lifestyle. A wardrobe malfunction at a party for P. Diddy in 2004, in which one part of her chest was visible for all the world to see, did not help the situation. Shots of her deformed chest quickly circulated on the internet, and Reed says that she was devastated. She had consulted with a plastic surgeon who gave her a completely different size than she had wanted, and Reed also had a procedure called body contouring done by the same surgeon, and she was unhappy with those results as well. Reed went under the procedure again one more time to get the previously botched jobs corrected. She says she saw a therapist for about a year to get help with her confidence issues and has settled down since her paradise days. And on top of that, she's also steered clear from too many more surgeries, urging anyone who is going under to do some research first and, you know, check those sources. Number two, Mickey Rourke. In the 1980s, Mickey Rourke began to find success as an actor. He was praised for his appearance. The Independent compared his youthful appearance to Marlon Brando or James Dean. So when the actor's appearance changed in the 90s, fans started asking questions. And as it turns out, the explanation for the transformation, it makes sense. Speaking on the topic of plastic surgery, Rourke told the Daily Mail in 2009 that most of his was to mend the mess of his face after boxing. Rourke had cartilage taken from his ear to help rebuild his nose, which was an operation that he called one of the most painful things he had ever gone through. His biggest regret comes from not doing enough research before booking the appointment. Seriously, this whole list could just be top 10 times he should have done research. He's quoted as saying he went to the wrong guy to get his face fixed. Well, he has claimed that he's only had had one more surgery to attempt to fix things. He has since become a public advocate for only getting surgery if it's for health purposes, because sometimes you need a part of your arm grafted to your shin. People are wild. At number one, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman has admitted that she regretted using Botox to battle the signs of aging. The Australian actress confessed that she did indeed use the cosmetic injections, but said that it was an unfortunate step in her beauty regime, adding that she was glad to regain some of the movement in her face. She recounts getting Botox at one point and claiming that it had unfortunately left her face looking a little disfigured, ultimately opting out to get another jab. She claims to have hated the way she looked when she first received the shots, very quickly realizing what a mistake she had made. She claims that her beauty comes from a natural place outside of that, saying in interviews that she is not one to advocate for plastic surgery. She claims to use sunscreen, not do any illegal substances, and she takes care of herself. Boring! So starting off our list today at number 10, we have Kim Kardashian. For years now, it seems like the Kardashian family has denied having any sort of procedures done, which is baffling because just having one look at the family, you can tell that they have definitely had a lot of work done to achieve their looks. While Kim has continued to go on and claim that she hasn't had any butt injections, she has claimed to getting cortisone shots to help her with her psoriasis. In 2022, during her cover interview with Allure, she would explain that she had a little bit of Botox done and that's exactly what she's done to her face over the years. She then went on to deny any other procedures after she said she chilled on all the Botox lately. She then went on to claim that she's never had eyelash extensions and went on to say, I've never done anything. I have a drop of mascara on today, I've never filled my cheeks, I've never filled my lips, but do we actually really believe her? Number 9. Chrissy Teigen Chrissy Teigen has been pretty open about her plastic surgery when she first started to admit to her procedures back in 2017 when she told Refinery29 that she had her armpit sucked out and when her fat came back, she had to pay for liposuction again so she could feel more confident when she wore her dresses. Then in 2019, the star would take to her Instagram to post that she would be removing her chest implants as she wanted to be able to zip into a dress size that was actually her size. And then again in 2021, the star would take to her Instagram again to share that she had the fat removed from her cheeks when she said, I did that Dr. Diamond buckle fat removal thing here, and since I quit drinking, I'm really seeing the results. Chrissy then went on to point to the area of her cheek where the procedure had been done.
friend before adding in her caption that she had no shame in her Dr. Diamond game. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming at number 8, we have Khloe Kardashian. I don't think any of us really thought Khloe would admit to some of the procedures she had done on her face as we thought she was just going to conceal the truth about her work like the rest of the family seems to do. However, during an episode on Keeping Up With The Kardashian series finale reunion, the star would admit to her procedures when she said, For me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she had her third face transplant. But I've had one nose job and everyone gets so upset like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. On her talk show Cocktails with Chloe, the star also admitted to having facial fillers dissolved when she said, my face was so effed I had to go and get this whole thing dissolved. It was a bummer and now I'm afraid to do it again. I'm also almost like I swear things are still in my face which is honestly probably true as once you alter your face, you can't go back to what you used to look like before. Number Number 7. Ashley Tisdale Have you ever noticed that Ashley Tisdale's face altered around the time she was working on the hit show Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Well later on in Ashley's career after the rumors started to circulate around the star altering her nose, she would admit that she did have a nose job done in 2007 to fix a deviated septum. When she told people, I didn't do this because I believe in plastic surgery, I did this to help my health. I literally almost could not breathe out of my right nostril. I I want my fans to know the truth. I'm not someone who is going to act like I have done nothing. I just want to be honest with my fans who are everything to me. And while Ashley did choose to admit that she had surgery done, she's not like most celebrities on this list today because she chose to have the cosmetics procedures done to help her health and not to improve her overall look. Number 6. Bella Hadid In her 2022 Vogue cover story, Bella Hadid would share that she regretted having her nose altered when she was just 14 years old when she said, I wish I would have kept the nose of my ancestors. I think I would have grown into it. She also went on to add that her nose job was the only procedure she has ever gotten done. And she went on to say, people think I fully effed my face because of one picture of me as a teenager looking puffy. I'm sure you don't look the same now as you did when you're 13, right? I've never used filler. Let's just put an end to that. I have no issue with it, but it's not for me. Instead, she went on to state that her lifted appearance is the result of an illusion when she said, whoever thinks I've gotten my eyes lifted or whatever, it's called face tape, the oldest trick in the book. However, while the star has admitted to her nose job, it's only a matter of time before she comes out to reveal that she also had buckle fat removal as her cheeks are looking hella sculpted lately. Number 5. Joe Jonas You think being one of the best looking men in Hollywood, Joe Jonas would have never done anything to his face, but then think again as the star has had help from injectables over the years to help combat signs of getting older. As he once told people, we're all getting older and part of it is being comfortable in our own skin. Around this time, Joe was also becoming a brand partner for Exomin, which is an anti-wrinkle injectable that temporarily improves the appearance of frown lines using a double filtered formula. Joe would also go on to admit he not only uses his treatment for his frown lines, but he also uses it to smooth out a scar he has between his eyebrows. Before noting that his procedure has never been been over the top and that he kept things pretty light so you couldn't really tell that he has had work done. Joe actually only chose to come out about his cosmetic treatments so he can encourage other men to feel comfortable doing the same thing as he doesn't find it such a big deal and he would also state that we should all feel confident about how we look. Number 4. Courtney Cox. At one point in time, we all noticed that there was just something different about Courtney Cox. And while a lot of people just couldn't wrap their finger around it and what was different with her, some of the star's fans then started to accuse the star of having work done. While Courtney was silent for years about her cosmetic procedures, in 2017, she would finally admit to having cosmetic surgeries when she said, I've had all my fillers dissolved. I'm as natural as I can be. I feel better because I look myself. I think that I now look like the person that I was. I hope I do. Things are going to change. Everything's going to drop. I was trying to make it not drop, but that made my face look fake. You need movement in your face, especially if you have thin skin like I do. Those aren't wrinkles, they're smile lines. I've had to learn how to embrace movement and realize that fillers are not my friend, but honestly, fillers seem to be no one's friend. So it's surprising to see so many celebrities entering into the trend to get them. Number three, Marc Jacobs. Back in 2021, Marc 
Mark Jacobs would cause quite the public stir on Instagram after he uploaded a selfie of himself post operation that showcased his head wrapped in bandages. The celebrity would then open up about his $50,000 facelift and his decision to publicly reveal he had gone under surgery while saying there was no shame in being vain. The designer has been sharing candid photos of his post operative recovery on his personal Instagram account since the celebrity plastic surgeon Andrew Jacono performed his deep plane facelift on July 20th, 2021. Mark would then open up about his procedure with Vogue when he told the media outlet, I've got some scars around my ears and my face is swollen. I have a bruised neck. I'm still posting on Instagram. I don't care. I don't even see it as an effort to be transparent. I'm doing what I normally do, which is living my life and sharing it with anybody who is interested. Mark would then point out that he's been pretty honest about his changing appearance for decades and he'll continue to do so as he gets more procedures done. Number two, Tori Spelling. Back in 2021, Tori Spelling would address her expired and recalled chest implants when the actress posted a photo of herself at a plastic surgeon's office that year on November 19th. In the caption of the photo, she would say, After needing to for many years, I'm finally addressing my expired and recalled implants. Thanks for squeezing me in. Dr. Plastic Surgery. Great consult. I adore you already. Beforehand, Tori had already previously shared that her implants had expired during an October episode, Wind Down with Jana Kramer. And when Tori was asked if she wanted to have new implants done, the Beverly Hills 90210 actor would say she did before noting, see, no one told me when I got that done in 10 years, you would have to get them redone. Beforehand, in 2019, Tori did address all the rumors around her changed appearance when she told people, the one thing that stuck with me forever was the plastic surgery thing. I literally had my nose done and my chest done. That's it. I'm constantly reading that I've done more. While the star has been under speculation for more procedures since she was at the age of 19, it seems like most celebrities can shake the rumors, but Tori's plastic surgery rumors have stuck with her throughout her entire career. And coming in at number one today, we have Reed Ewing. Reed Ewing once opened up about how he had a nightmare of a time struggling with body dysmorphia and the resulting horrors he faced when he attempted to use plastic surgery to fix it. When the actor who is best known for playing Dylan on Modern Family penned an essay for the Huffington Post, he would give shocking details about how he had a pretty difficult time in his life dealing with body dysmorphic disorder. So if you don't know what body dysmorphic disorder is, it's a mental illness in which a person obsesses over the way he or she looks thinking about their real or perceived flaws for hours each day. And for Reed, he spent years analyzing every single feature to the point he had to make his first appointment to meet with a cosmetic surgeon when he was only 19 years old. Though he describes the doctor as being curt and uninterested in his worries, nevertheless, he decided to undergo the surgery to get a large cheek implant. After getting the surgery done, Reed would face more problems as he had to hide his face from the public to hide his disordered appearance post surgery. It also didn't help when he woke up from the surgery, all the doctor and his staff could do was laugh at the actor's appearance. Starting off our list today at number 10, we have Amanda Bynes. Back in 2013, Amanda Bynes' parents would outline a troubling portrait of the star in a court papers as they were seeking a legal conservatorship to manage her affairs. Among other things, they would also tell Ventura County Court that Amanda had been suffering from severe body image issues that left her feeling extremely paranoid about being watched to the point that she would cover smoke alarms with towels, tape windows shut and even cover her car dashboard with cardboard and tape out of fear that cameras were watching her from inside these places. Amanda's fears were so strong that she soon became obsessed with the idea that she and others were ugly. Her parents also noted that this was around the time their daughter also started to talk about cosmetic surgeries that she wanted to get consistently and that they even received large doctor bills from surgeons just a few months since they moved to New York. As Amanda has spent a large amount of her fortune. With Amanda being worth only $4 million at the time, she spent around $1.3 million of her money just in a short amount of time, which was kind of concerning. Number nine, Heidi Montag. So back in 2010, Heidi Montag would admit to the Daily Mail that she wished she hadn't wasted so much of her money on plastic surgery after she and Spencer Pratt revealed that they were considering filing for bankruptcy after blowing their $10 million fortune. The reality TV couple who splurged all of their fortune on crystals, luxury cars, and
and Heidi's plastic surgery and failed pop album would also know that they owed close to $2 million in taxes. The former stars of The Hills would then claim that they had to move into Spencer's parents' guest home after struggling to pay the rent on their $35,000 a month Malibu mansion. Heidi then would go on to note that Spencer's parents would even have to go out to the grocery stores for them on the weekend and that she regrets her costly decision to undergo 10 plastic surgery procedures. Before saying, I spent thousands on the procedures and after care. I had private nurses coming twice a day for two months for treatments and bandage chances. Each time they came, it cost $2,000. I wish I didn't waste so much money on it. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and, you know, subscribe to the channel. Coming to number eight, we have Michael Jackson. When Michael Jackson passed away in 2009, his passing would leave behind so many unanswered questions about the eccentric pop star's alleged plastic surgery. Throughout his career, his dramatic transformation made him infamous as fans wondered exactly how much surgery he had. In 2015, a documentary would be released called The Ten Faces of Michael Jackson. And in this documentary, it would hint that the late singer had more than 100 procedures done on his face. And that the late star passed away with a staggering amount of debt with his abandoned Neverland ranch serving as a haunted reminder of his extravagant pop star past. With Michael having countless sold out tours and endorsement deals, he was also the owner of a multi-million pound music catalog that included his own work and that of artists such as the Beatles. But incredibly, the wealth he was bringing in with royalties was said to have been nothing compared to the incredible amount of debt he was simultaneously racking up. A forensic accountant asked to speak at the 2013 trial would then explain that Jackson blew his entire fortune on gifts, travel, art, zoo animals, jewelry, furniture, donations to numerous charities, as well as plastic surgery. At the time of Michael's passing, he was $500 million in debt due to his spending habits. Number seven, Little Kim. Before there was Nicki Minaj and Cardi B, there was Little Kim. With a string of successful albums to her name, she went on to mentor many others who came after her. Lately though, her name has been surfacing due to reasons unrelated to music, mostly because of her ever changing looks. As years went by, Little Kim began appearing on red carpets and in interviews with lighter skin, higher cheeks, a smaller nose, and in addition, drastic alterations. It then became clear one day that the rapper was spending half of her time in the recording studio and the other half in the plastic surgeon clinic. In an interview in 2005, Little Kim admitted to getting several nose jobs done after she had her nose broken. The rapper then continued to undergo multiple surgeries so she could keep up with the impossible beauty standards the world kept advertising. And men also played a major role in her insecurities as they made her believe that she wasn't pretty enough. In June of 2018, Kim reportedly had to file for bankruptcy and hoped to auction off her New Jersey home to help her pay off her enormous $4 million debt. Official court documents with then reveal that the rap superstar was earning around 18,000 a month and her personal expenses were reaching close to 13,000. So this left Kim with no option but to file for bankruptcy as she couldn't find a way to pay her ever growing amounts of money that she owed to the IRS with her also owing over 1.5 million in federal income taxes. This would cause Kim's net worth to be around $500,000 today, which is a far cry from what she used to be worth. Number six, Dossi Schroeder. Former Vanderpump Rules TV personality Stassi opened up in her book that she published in April of 2019 about why she chose to get a chin implant, chest reduction, among other alterations. In the book, she would say it's one of the best things that she's ever done to this day as it made her feel good about herself. She then went on to point out that her parents trusted her judgment to get the surgery done and she was just desperate to have a bigger chin and a more defined jaw. While the star has experienced many ups and downs in her career like being fired from Vanderpump Rules in 2020, she has still amassed an impressive amount of money as she has an estimated net worth of $2 million. But if she didn't fork out 20 k on plastic surgery and then more money on nurses why they would change her bandages every Every day, she would probably be worth more money than she is today. Number five, Mama June Shannon. So back in 2020, Mama June, who is known as June Shannon, is a reality TV personality known for her family show, Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. Because she has spent more than a decade on television, you would assume that June wasn't exactly hurting for money, but that clearly 
isn't the case. As back in 2020, June would admit that she had to sell her house after going broke and then it would also be known that the star spent her entire fortune not only on $75,000 worth of plastic surgery but also on substances. She would also state that she was spending over $250,000 in 4 months because she spent a large part of her fortune that she made on reality TV on surgery while partying with her ex-boyfriend. According to the celebrity net worth, Mama June is now only worth $50,000 which would likely come to a shock to many since she's on reality TV and she's amassed quite a fan following in the past decade. Number 4. Mickey Rourke Mickey Rourke used to be one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood but thanks to his obsession with plastic surgery, the star is now completely unrecognizable after leaving Hollywood to become a boxer. Mickey had a pretty successful career and he won 27 matches including 12 knockouts and 3 defeats between 1964 to 1973. His return to the ring as a professional boxer in the 1990s also proved to be equally successful as he remained undefeated in 8 fights and had 6 wins including 4 knockouts and 2 draws. Unfortunately, his career choice also came with a string of severe facial injuries as he had to face a broken nose twice and he even had a compressed cheekbone which caused the star to undergo several reconstructive surgeries to treat his boxing injuries. However, many of those surgeries failed to bring the actor the desired results and prompted him to go under the knife consistently which caused him to lose a large chunk of his net worth. While the star is now worth $10 million, he is also in $50,000 worth of debt with Amax, and he has ranked up 70k in therapy bills. Number 3. Pamela Anderson Pamela Anderson went from earning 6.6 .6 million a year to being flat broke. While the star has been the subject of plastic surgery rumors many times over her decade long career, the former TV star has also been mostly quiet about which procedures she has actually undergone since her debut in 1989. The star over the years has undergone through a series of plastic surgeries from lip nose jobs and chest enlargement, which she had to fork out thousands of dollars. However, it wasn't just her trips to the doctors and her trips to the mall that caused Pamela to lose her entire fortune, as she would later become a tax delinquent after it was revealed that she owed over $450,000 in unpaid taxes, making the star now worth only $20 million, but it could have been more if she paid her bills and didn't spend all her money on plastic surgery and lavish spending. Number 2. Jocelyn Wildenstein. Former billionaire Jocelyn Wildenstein, known as Catwoman, went bankrupt with zero dollars in her account. Back in 2019, Jocelyn had to file for federal Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection, and according to the New York Post, she listed her city bank account balance at zero dollars in the filing. She then would also note that she was only getting $900 a month in social security payments, which probably would have been avoidable if the star didn't spend over $4 million on plastic surgery. However, Jocelyn's love for plastic surgery has earned her the celebrity status she has today. The so called socialite first started undergoing the knife because she wanted to please her ex husband as he had a thing for big cats. The star then proceeded to go through countless surgeries to land a cat like look. While the star claims her debt came with divorce and it had nothing to do with her outrageous spending, I'm sure she didn't spend more than $4 million on surgery. She probably would still be a billionaire today and she would be worth a lot more than $10 million. And coming in at number one today, we have Janice Dickinson. Back in 2013, the Daily Mail would report that Janice Dickinson declared bankruptcy after she accumulated nearly $1 million in debt. The former judge on America's Next Top Model declared bankruptcy after racking up unpaid bills and doctor bills for plastic surgery procedures. Janice, who owed more than $8,000 to Vivert Hill Dermatologist and also more than $8,000 in debt with a Beverly Hills Anti-Aging Center, the former supermodel would also confirm the report later on Radar Online where she stated she was eager to pay back her debt on top of her plastic surgery debt. She was also in debt due to unpaid taxes which equaled out to be more than $500,000. And she would also be accused of stealing $20,000 worth of jewelry at a charity fashion show during New York Fashion Week. Coming at number 10 we have Leah Michelle. Back in December, Leah Michelle started to go trending on Twitter after the internet started to troll her for her new chiseled facial appearance. When the 
funny girl actress posted a selfie comparing herself to Lucia, the beautiful working girl on the White Lotus. The internet was then quick to notice her resemblance to another trending character, which is a girl who has undergone buckle fat removal. The cosmetic procedure involves surgically removing fat between the cheekbones and the jaw bones via incisions inside the mouth to highlight one's facial bone structure. While people have been doing the surgery for decades, it's currently all the rage with young celebrities and people on TikTok. It takes a normal looking girl and makes them look almost skeletal, which is pretty damaging to a younger person's image. While the surgery isn't everybody's cup of tea, I still don't understand why Hollywood girlies aren't trying to get rid of it and why they keep opting to do it. And it kind of made Leah Michelle look more scary than her Rachel Berry days on Glee. Number nine, Khloe Kardashian. Khloe Kardashian has been pretty open about her physical transformation. And unlike her other sisters, she claimed that she has undergone plastic surgery more than once in her life. While the reality TV star isn't too outspoken when it comes to her past procedures, she has opened up once before about the reason behind her choice to undergo the night. In a reunion episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Chloe revealed that she opted for a few cosmetic alterations by saying, for me, everyone says, oh my gosh, she had a third face transplant, but I've had one nose job. Aside from her nose job, the Good American founder has also revealed she has done injections, but not really Botox because she responded horribly Botox. Chloe, like Kylie, has also gotten so much filler done at one point. She even went back three times to get it dissolved, but it still feels like the effects are still there. But for a while, the star did look a little scary with all that filler. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in number eight, we have Priscilla Presley. Priscilla Presley was a legendary beauty, but when she underwent plastic surgery in the past, it left her with some unfortunate side effects. It would force her to come out and claim that she unknowingly had industrial low grade silicone injected into her face by a doctor who wasn't even licensed to practice medicine in the United States. Priscilla was one of many victims who fell into the hands of Dr. Daniel Saranoez in 2008, a rep of the actress would share that an investigation which uncovered his misconduct ultimately led to his imprisonment. Miss Presley dealt with this matter years ago and eventually everything is now well. Serrano, who was not licensed to practice medicine, would find himself being deported back to Argentina after serving 18 months in federal prison. After some of his injections caused lumps, paralysis, and holes in his client's face. But the work he did to Priscilla definitely had her wishing that she never underwent the surgery, and she never even tried to have it repaired as she was kind of scared it would do more harm than good. Number seven, Janice Dickinson. It's clear that Hollywood's obsession with plastic surgery is starting to get really scary. Scary. And if you look what happened to Janice Dickinson after she made an attempt to keep her youthful appearance, people would even start to confuse her with Caitlyn Jenner. After she had a botched procedure done, even according to celebrity plastic surgeon, Dr. Anthony Yoon, Janice had every plastic surgery procedure there is. And that's not really hard to believe as once the stunning model now looks like she is pure plastic. And I've seen her undergo some treatments on reality TV. Dr. Yoon would then jokingly add, I believe she's undergone pretty much every facial plastic surgery there is, including a facelift, eye lift, lip injections, Botox, fat injections, a brow lift, and she's probably singly handedly paid for her plastic surgeon's house. Despite Janice going under the knife numerous times, Yoon said, while Janice doesn't look a whole lot like herself, she's holding up pretty well, and she's had quite a bit of help. In 2014, Janice would even admit when she was 32, or in the Jurassic era. That's when she had her first procedure done and it included work to her chest, a tummy tuck, facelift, and Botox. At number six, we have Linda Evangelista. The OG supermodel hasn't been seen in public for a while now and in September 23rd, 2021, she would explain why. Linda revealed that she underwent cool sculpting, which she claims left her looking unrecognizable as it allegedly caused her fat cells in her face to multiply. And she would say, to my followers who have won why I have not been working while my peers' careers have been thriving. The reason is that I was brutally disfigured by a procedure which did the opposite of what it promised. She then went on to talk about the procedure's rare but serious side effects, and she said not only did it destroy my livelihood, but it sent me into a cycle of depression, profound sadness, and lowest depths 
of self loathing. In the process, I have become reclusive and I'm so tired of living this way. I would like to walk out my door with my head held high despite not looking like myself any longer. However, if you look at photos from Linda from 2005 to now, for her procedure, disfigured her famous face, the girl was stunning. And if you were looking to get plastic surgery done in the future, let this be a warning and just a reminder that you're beautiful just the way you look. Number five, Mickey Rourke. Since the beginning of his career, Mickey Rourke has captured the news headlines every now and then, and one of the most talked about things about him is his face. Today, everyone knows Mickey to be an actor of repute who has starred in many successful movies over the years, but it is essential to understand that acting was not Mickey's first love, as he's a man who was in love with boxing and he eventually became a professional boxer. And he did pretty well because he was unbeaten in all his fights as he won and drew others. However, he endured a lot of injuries to his face and some of these injuries were so severe that they threatened to ruin his good looks, so he opted to have cosmetic surgery to fix his face. However, the doctors he met to help him fix his face just ended up ruining it. His face today is now very different from what his fans had known it to be, and anytime he steps into the public, paparazzi just swarms his face. While the star has undergone different cosmetic surgeries to correct his face, it just keeps changing and it keeps renewing the public's interest. Number four, Joan Rivers, comedian Joan Rivers was famous for constantly changing her face. When the reality TV star passed away at the age of 81, her daughter Melissa would write a memoir, The Book of Joan, Tales of Mirth, Mischief, and Manipulation. As a tribute to her mother, in it Melissa would reveal that Joan had a staggering 348 cosmetic operations over her life and she was never happy with the way she looked, which fed into her sense of being less than. Joan Rivers' tragic passing was caused after she had complications following her surgery after the comedian never recovered from a loss of oxygen to her brain during surgery. Her daughter would then be able to sue the clinic for malpractice. It would be noted that Joan went into the hospital after she scheduled an EGD. However, reports then showed another procedure, a nasolaryngoscopy, which was performed twice by an ENT doctor not privileged to perform that procedure at Yorkville. And Rivers was never informed or consented to that procedure. Number three, Donatella Versace. Donatella Versace's designs for Versace may have sparked thousands of copycats, but there is no danger of a woman following suit when it comes to Donatella Versace's new look. 30 years ago, the fashion guru had naturally full lips and smooth skin, but today her face is striking for all the wrong reasons as she has now turned herself into a real life human waxworth doll after she overdid Botox and added too much filler to her cheeks and lips. Not to mention the businesswoman has also had a face lift and eyes and brow lift. And if you look at her face, you can tell that her eyelids are like a little droopy because she had some bad Botox and that's why they look droopy. It's also been said that she looks like she may have had some filler added to her earlobes as they looked very stretched. Dr. David Rappaport has also provided a timeline of Donatella's alleged procedures where he would point out that it seems clear that the designer has had a facelift as she has a scar that you can see on her temple areas. And she has a fine linear scar from it. He would also note that her hairline has been lifted too high and it shouldn't end that high above her ears. But this could also indicate that she's gone under the knife for more than one procedure. Number two, Carrot Top. Comedian King of Props, Scott Carrot Top Thompson has had to deal with a lot of plastic surgery rumors and before and after surgery photos. But despite the hundreds of sources saying he underwent the knife to change his looks, the comedian says he hasn't had work done on him. But it's clearly just a lie. So Carrot Top is one of these most successful comedians from the late 90s and 2000s. Aside from comedy, one of the most talked about topics whenever Carrot Top is brought up is about his looks and people start to debate whether the star has had plastic surgery done or not. Although various sources have tried exploring his transformation, to put an answer to the question, the comedian still continues to deny all the rumors that revolve around him undergoing the knife to change his looks. And to this day, the comedian still has to deal with plastic surgery rumors as the media has been swamped with before and after photos of the star. Many have even compared his transformation to plastic surgery disasters and some professionals have even commented on it, such as Dr. Anthony Yoon, who pointed out that the comedian has definitely had laser treatments or chemical peels, and he even commented on Carrot Top's appearance by saying, he looks more like a muscle-bound cartoon. 
character. Number one, Little Kim. Little Kim is undoubtedly one of the brightest, most influential women in hip hop, yet her legacy remains controversial for one reason or the other. Seems like the star is constantly being thrown in front of the media since the beginning of her career for her ever changing face. In 2005, Kim would even go on a radio show to explain that she had broken her nose after getting into an altercation with her ex boyfriend and she had to get surgery done to fix her nose and then she would go back to her boyfriend, get hurt again and it would reel her into a tangle of insecurities and self loathing. Kim was so tired of lying about her injuries and burying her bruises in makeup that she thought it would be better to get professional work done and wipe those physical markings away once and for all. And then after, she would get more surgeries done by her own choice as she was facing insecurities after her boyfriends kept cheating on her with European women with long hair. Number 10, Janice Dickinson. She was known as the world's first supermodel and was hugely successful during the 1970s and 80s. Recently, she's been quite the TV star, appearing as a judge on America's Next Top Model, Celebrity Big Brother in 2015, and I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here in 2007. The 67 year old model has never been shy about admitting that she's had plastic surgery and confessed to having a breast enlargement, tummy tuck, neck and facelifts, and liposuction and Botox in the past. Although the various surgeries had really gotten out of hand over the years, and in 2013 she declared herself bankrupt after over $1 million in taxes and unpaid cosmetic bills. Two years later, she appeared on Botched to fix her boob job that was done 30 years before saying at the time that she was no stranger to plastic surgery. But her perspective really changed in 2013 when she was diagnosed with breast cancer. In fact, she initially thought the lump in her breast was a botched boob job, telling Entertainment Tonight, quote, if I had to play my life over again, I would have never gotten breast implants in the first place. But fortunately, the following year, she was declared cancer free after six weeks of radiation therapy. Number nine, Tara Reid. There's no doubt that the American Pie star was one of Hollywood's it girls in the late 90s and early 2000s. But while the actress was at the pinnacle of success in her career, she was also going through various issues stemming from botched plastic surgery. And she ended up missing out on a whole bunch of roles because of it. Tara claimed that in 2004, breast implants and liposuction surgeries left her with disfigurements that damaged her career. She told US Weekly, quote, my stomach became the most ripply, bulgy thing. I had a hernia, this huge bump next to my belly button. As a result, I couldn't wear a bikini. I lost a lot of work. Tara said that after the procedures, she knew something was wrong when it came to her breast implants, but she was six months post-op when she realized that it had been terribly botched. Quote, the actual center part where the areola is, instead of it being a circle, it turned out to be a large square. It was horrifying. She also went through an infamous wardrobe malfunction on the red carpet at Diddy's 35th birthday party in 2004, which resulted in her body going viral, which left her devastated. Tara said she cried and begged photographers not to release the photos because the last thing she wanted to happen was to have the whole world see it. Number eight, Mickey Rourke. Mickey Rourke was one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood. He made his feature film debut with a minor role in Steven Spielberg's 1941 and garnered significant attention with 1981's Body Heat. However, in the early 90s, the actor decided to take up professional boxing. And while that brought him success, it also came with a string of severe facial injuries. Rourke reportedly faced a broken nose twice, suffered toe and rib injuries, a split tongue, a compressed cheekbone, and even short term memory loss for some time. As a, as a result, the actor had to undergo several reconstructive surgeries to fix himself up, but most of them did not achieve the desired result, so he had to undergo even more surgery to correct those mistakes. Eventually, Rourke's facial features were nearly unrecognizable compared to his initial appearance. In 2009, he finally opened up to the Daily Mail about it. Quote, most of it was to mend the mess of my face because of the boxing, but I went to the wrong guy to put my face back together. Which is really sad because it was probably just down to having a really sketchy plastic surgeon. Number seven, Priscilla Presley. Priscilla has always been admired for her beauty, but she has undergone multiple plastic surgery procedures in recent years, and some have gone a little bit too far. 
month. But this is all down to one tragic procedure in 2003 that should have never been done. The former wife of Elvis Presley was the victim of an unlicensed doctor and was left with botched plastic surgery that changed her looks forever. Dr. Daniel Serrano administered surgery on several Hollywood A-listers, including Lionel Richie, his ex-wife Diane, and Sean King, the late wife of CNN presenter and TV host Larry King. He only charged between three to five hundred dollars and operated on his clients at lavish cocktail parties in Hollywood. But Serrano was only a licensed nurse, and when he carried out the procedure, he used industrial grade silicone, which is often used to lubricate car parts. The fake doctor eventually went to prison, and Priscilla has reportedly been undergoing corrective treatments ever since. But her changing face has also been attributed to Presley's alleged extensive history with plastic surgery, which reportedly includes multiple facelifts, laser treatments, as well as lip and cheek fillers. So this is probably why her look has changed so much over the years. Number six, Lisa Rinna. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star and soap opera actress Lisa Rinna has been very open about her plastic surgery choices, mainly her decision to plump her lips with injections, which definitely seemed to have gone a little bit too far. Rina had permanent silicone filler injected into her top lip, which she initially loved, but eventually she decided to have it reduced after facing criticism for her appearance. She told People in 2010, quote, I was crazy to even touch them in the first place. In total, she's had four injections, and she explained that in the beginning, it was great, but after about 10 years, the silicone started seeping through her lip and creating scar tissue that was hard and bumpy. She claimed that when she would get photographed, her lips would look a certain way, and then people would start to talk. The TV star said that she even tried cortisone shots to reduce the swelling, but instead of helping it, it actually made them look worse. Quote, I have a doctor to remove as much as they possibly can because it got to the point where they were yucky. You know, they get hard, it's gross. Lisa said that the doctor took out as much silicone as possible and now her lips are somewhat back to normal. Number five, Jennifer Grey. After being catapulted to mega fame in 1987 for playing Baby in Dirty Dancing, Jennifer's career seemed to stall. And although she was personally happy with her nose and its distinct bump, she underwent plastic surgery at the age of 29 to boost her career and gain more acting roles. But Jennifer said it actually ended up being the surgery that affected her ability to get jobs. Quote, I went into the operating room a celebrity and came out as anonymous. She told The Mirror in 2012 that it was the nose job from hell and she'll always be this once famous actress that nobody recognizes because of a nose job. After her first surgery, she was thrilled with the way she looked. Then less than a year later, she noticed that a tiny bit of cartilage was visible under the surface of her nose. Jennifer then underwent a second surgery to correct the issue, but when she woke up, she discovered that she no longer looked like herself at all. To make matters worse, when the public got wind of the situation, the star felt humiliated, as many people did not believe that she was Jennifer Grey anymore. And she would often have to go to great lengths just to prove that she was in fact who she said she was. Number 4, Kylie Jenner. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star has basically grown up in the spotlight, so her transformation from tween to teen and now a 20-something mother has all been before our very eyes. Which means that it's not hard to notice the drastic changes to Kylie's appearance in the more than 10 years since the show first aired in 2007. While fans have speculated about Kylie having undergone everything from lip filler to a Brazilian butt lift, it's hard to separate fact from fiction when it comes to her ever-changing aesthetic. But after years of denying that she had lip filler, the star eventually came clean about that particular cosmetic touch-up. During a 2015 episode of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, Kylie admits, quote, I have temporary lip fillers. It's just an insecurity of mine and it's what I wanted to do. But it's a little bit sad when you look at why she got it done. Quote, I was 15 and I was insecure about my lips. I have really small lips. And it was just like one of my first kisses and a guy was like, I didn't think you would be a good kisser because you have such small lips. She also admitted that she definitely made her lips a little too big at one point before her sisters pointed it out and said, Kylie, you need to chill. They were definitely right to let her know when it was becoming a little too much. 
Number three, Reed Ewing, the Modern Family actor, stars in one of the most successful shows on television. But Reed revealed in a Huffington Post op-ed that he'd been waging a private battle with his looks. He bravely opened up about his battle with body dysmorphia, unhealthy obsession with his physical flaws, and the plastic surgery that he had turned to as a solution. Reed wrote that when he first moved to LA at 19, he would apparently sit alone in his apartment and take photos of himself, and try to analyze every single angle and feature of his face. Quote, after a few years of doing this, one day I decided I had to get cosmetic surgery. No one is allowed to be this ugly, I thought. It's unacceptable. In 2008, he decided to see a plastic surgeon to get the first of many surgeries he would go on to have. He wanted cheek implants and wrote that he genuinely believed if he had one procedure, he would suddenly look like Brad Pitt. But he wished he hadn't because that's where the nightmare began. Quote, after all the swelling finally went down, the results were horrendous. Reed isolated himself from everyone and it took him six months before he was comfortable with people even looking at him. It's extremely upsetting that his battle with body dysmorphia won and it just left him feeling worse about himself after all the surgery. Number two, Joan Van Ark. The actress became famous for her roles on the nighttime soap operas Dallas and Knott's Landing between the late 1970s to early 1990s. And while she was known to be extremely beautiful at the peak of her acting career, Joan's appearance has changed so much over the years due to her extreme addiction to plastic surgery. If you want to know the extent of the procedures, one source who allegedly saw Joan in January 2020 told the Globe that it looked like her face was melting. Now, now that's pretty harsh to say, but it might just be that bad, considering just how much the 79 year old has reportedly gone under the knife. We're talking about blepharoplasty, cheek and lip fillers, Botox injections. In fact, plastic surgeon Dr. Anthony Yun told the National Enquirer that Van Ark's drastically changed appearance is also due to at least one or two facelifts, which is what caused her neckline and jawline to look tight. But this is all speculation, and everyone knows working in the industry comes with various pressures to stay young. So addiction to cosmetic surgery is unfortunately something that comes with the territory. And coming in at number one, Katie Price. Since becoming a household name as a glamour model in the 90s, Katie Price's brand has become synonymous with plastic surgery. As a 44 year old status has risen over the last two decades, so has the number of times she's gone under the knife, leaving her now completely unrecognizable from her former self. But Katie has always been honest about the work she's had done, like the fact that she's had a whopping 12 boob jobs over the last 25 years. And she got the first one when she was only 18. But a trip to Turkey for one of the procedures resulted in a botched boob job. She told the son, quote, I had my boobs done in Turkey and they looked deformed. They were absolutely awful. She's also had veneers done and in the and in June last year, Katie endured one of the most ambitious rounds of surgery yet, as she underwent another facelift on the same day that she also treated herself to liposuction and fat injections to her bum. The TV personality is also a big fan of Botox and has underwent an eye and brow lift that has left her face with a sharp, tight look. Plastic surgery is definitely synonymous with her brand at this point, and although Katie has said many times that she has no plan to stop going under the knife, just by looking at old pictures, it's easy to see that she looked a lot better before.